Hey there guys, it's Trevor Jin Ryuka here. How's everybody doing? It's Monday, Monday suck. And man, I had an awkward moment <laughs> in the uh, in worse ones. Um I went there to get get something for uh my parents. And um for their, uh, humidifier. And I go to check out, I go look at it, some of the toys, because, you know, my, I know my nephew likes Orsland's. So I looked at some of the toys, you know, get some ideas for Christmas. And, uh... Well, I I had my sunglasses off. I, I immediately put them back on as soon as I seen this person. But, nope, I was still recognized. I met one of my exes. I, went, I met one of my exes there that I have not seen in probably... Four, four years probably. Four or five years probably. I haven't probably had, haven't seen her in probably like four or five years. And I would definitely say this was awkward because, well, I usually have zero interest of even speaking to an ex, let alone like actually having somewhat of a conversation with them, even though it was very short, and then making a, making a joke afterwards, as I was leaving, which I did, uh, because obviously it was really awkward, so let's make it worse by making a joke, like, oh, I, like, stay out of trouble, oh, I will, ah, I doubt it, ha ha ha, but, uh, yeah, she recognized me immediately and immediately did this. Big old smile on her face and just, How you doing? How you been? I mean, how long has it been since we last seen each other? And I'm like, Ugh. I don't fucking know. I'm old. I don't know. I don't know. It's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> uh... Definitely made me feel awkward. I'm probably gonna stay out, stay away from Orsland's for a while longer until I go in there to go buy my nephew a few Christmas presents out of there. But hopefully she's not working again when I go in there. But uh, yeah, awkward conversation. Very awkward. But. That was it. That was the whole. That was the whole thing. That was the whole bit. No, it's not a bit. That actually happened. Literally about an hour ago. But if you have not seen this episode of Arc Pugnacia, you better go watch it now, because there's a good five ten minutes of me trying to fix an overspawn and a damn waterfall, a creek waterfall. And I obviously failed at that. And, uh, so yeah. I took care of it after afterwards, so and when I go to record tomorrow's episode later, uh, that'll all be, uh, fixed, hopefully. Hopefully I don't find another overspawn. That'd, that, that'd be a lot of structures I'd have to build just to try to stop that from happening. But I'm getting ready to go take care of Kira. But, uh, that... That's the first time I've had any interaction with any of my exes, especially after we broke up. Uh... How my relationship ended with her... It just, it just didn't end, like... Like, on a good note, I guess. Um, it just, it just didn't end well, and not all relationships end well, 
Um, it was questionable if the relationship was actually going to work out. And at some point, commuti- there's zero communication. Zero. And then when there was a confrontation of, like, where this person was and why, why haven't I heard from them and, you know, what were they doing and this, that, and whatever, and I got told, uh, you aren't worth telling at all because I'm not going to tell you. You're not good enough to know. So it's, uh... That was pretty much the end of it, and I was like, you know what? <laughs> this is done. And I'm walking away. Like, it didn't end on a good note. There wasn't no, like, pleasantries by the end of it. Uh, that's, you know, that that's, not all relationships end on a good note. Where they just both in an agreement that this ain't gonna go anywhere. It just ends. It just ends, and then you got to try and move on. And I'm only talking about this kind of thing because of my interaction with the ex <laughs> literally an hour ago. But uh, but no, uh, I I, I got to go take care of Kira before she starts yelling at me and uh, do some other things. But uh, you all have a good one. Peace.